so I'm up for the allotment this is a very very cold day um, I'm in the little purple potting shed but today I'm going to be making something a little bit different to what I usually do in the shed um, and today I'll be making some herbal bath tea bags now it's currently the middle of December and Christmas is very nearly upon us and one of the things that I like to do is to make my own gifts and presents for families um, and friends um, and this year I'm going to be making some of these herbal bath tea bags for some of the ladies in my family because they all appreciate a good bath and hopefully these these bath tea bags are going to do them some good so yeah I'm going to be making them today and it's such an easy and such a simple thing to make um, you only need a few ingredients um, but right now I'm really getting into all this herbal and natural remedy stuff um, and I bought a book called the, the Homemade Apothecary it's such a good book and it's got me completely hooked um, so much in fact that um, I'm planning on growing a few herbs well a few more herbs up the allotment next year um, just so I can start to make my own you know, natural remedies and soap and, and things like these, these bath tea bags um, like it's such a fascinating thing like you don't realise how plants can help you it's amazing so I would check out that book I do recommend that book The Homemade Apothecary it's, it's a really good book um, but right I will go through the ingredients on what you need to make your herbal bath tea bags so first of all you need a bowl you also need some Epsom salts now I got these from Holland and Barrett uh, I think they were $5.99 or they do the buy one get one half price so I've got two um, how big is this bag this bag is one kilogram um, and it makes about nine herbal bath tea bags so you need your Epsom salts now these salts are meant to be really really good um, they help to relieve muscle tension pain and inflammation of the joints they also help to reduce stress and anxiety and they also help with tension headaches and stomach cramps um, so they'll be going into my herbal bath tea bag. They'll dissolve in the water um, and your skin will soak them up and it will do wonders for you. So that's one of the main ingredients uh, in the tea bags. I also have some dried chamomile heads, uh, flower heads. Now, I actually use this jar um, to drink chamomile tea. <laughs> I have a cup of chamomile tea every morning. Um, it's my new ritual because it helps with stress and anxiety um, so I have a cup every morning and so far so good <laughs> it like it's it's done wonders so I would recommend it I have it with a a spoonful of honey just to sweeten it a little bit um because my dad says that uh, the smell reminds him of grass <laughs> but trust me it does taste lovely and I'm completely hooked um, but chamomile, yeah, it reduces stress and anxiety. It also helps to treat insomnia and, and it relaxes muscles and soothes an upset stomach as well. So that's another great relaxing herb. And I'm also going to be using some lavender. So I'm going to be mixing the chamomile and the lavender together. Obviously, if you want, you can make separate lavender and separate chamomile um, tea bags. Um, but I'm going to mix the two together just to make like an ultimate relaxing bath. Um, but lavender, as you all know, is, is well known to be, to help with sleep, let's say. <laughs> it um, has very good sleeping power, so it helps with insomnia and restlessness. And it also helps with depression and stress. Um, actually, a recent study discovered that the scent of lavender increases the time spent in deep sleep. So if you are having trouble sleeping, then lavender is the herb to go to. And I'll go on to the other ingredient, which will help as well. It's um, pure essential oil lavender. Now, if you are having trouble sleeping, you can buy this lavender in, in most shops. I got it in Holland and Barrett. Um, but you can put a few drops on your pillow at night and it should help with your sleep um, alternatively you can put a few drops in your bath or 
if you're making these bath tea bags then you can put some drops into the into the mix so I'll be using about 16 drops of the oil um, you can add more if you want a more of a scent but I'll be using the lavender flower buds um, which just smell lovely I mean if you open up this jar it's like heaven <laughs> I absolutely love lavender and I'm pleased to say that I actually grew these I harvested these uh, flower buds from the two bushes down on the allotment I only have two bushes um, but there are plans afoot to have at least six more uh, going into the flower patch just because I love lavender so so much um, and this was the first year that I actually harvested anything um, I waited until late summer I picked the the lavender I left some for the bees but what I did is I hung them in bunches and I just hang them from my herb dryer uh, to dry and as you can see they just dried perfectly and they still smell so I leave this bunch up in in the shed just to make it smell a bit nice but it's so simple to dry your own flowers um, unfortunately I didn't um, I didn't grow these chamomile I bought um, two massive bags from eBay but you can also buy chamomile flowers uh, from tea shops like Wittards um, or online it, it's quite a popular thing now chamomile um, but yeah it, it, it's easy to grow and it's easy to harvest and dry so um, I'm going to be growing some I've got a new little feeding trough down by my water tank especially to grow chamomile in because like I said I have it every morning I go through quite a lot of chamomile so that's the ingredients the other thing that you need are some little bags now I bought these from Hobbycraft. I think they were actually in the wedding section. <laughs> I think you're supposed to put party favours or, or something in them. Um, they're, they're basically just very thin fabric bags and you can easily make them but obviously if you can't sew or you don't have a sewing machine or if you're like me and you have stupidly booked your sewing machine in for a service just before Christmas um, then you can buy them and I think you can actually buy proper herbal infusion bags um, from preserving aisles in shops I know Kilner do do some herbal infusion bags so you can buy them but like I said they're very easy to make you can buy muslin fabric very cheaply from every fabric shop um, and all you basically need to do is sew down the sides along the bottom um, and, and up the other side turn them inside out and then you can just tie them together at the top and you can have them as rustic or as you know neat looking as you want these ones are hemmed up the top um, but one thing I would just quickly add um, is that you can reuse these so once the salt is dissolved in the water you would just be left with the herbs so you can empty the herbs out uh, you can give it a wash um, and then simply just refill them with the salts and the herbs again and you know you've got a bag for life <laughs> basically so just remember that if you are making them uh, try and make them as neat as possible or, or if they're just for gifts for um, people to use and then throw away then you could make them as rustic as you want it's entirely down to you and um, but yeah like I said my sewing machine's in the service shop so I went and bought mine but this pack of 10 little bags uh, it was £5.20, so 52p each is, you know, it's not much at all. And you also get 10 little pieces of twine to tie around the top, which is quite nice. So, let's begin making it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to empty my bag of Epsom salts into the bowl. Now, this is a one kilogram bag which is roughly about four cups full so I'm going to use all of it in my bowl but if you have a bigger bag then just measure out four cups the next thing I'm going to do is get my pure essential lavender oil and I'm going to put 16 drops roughly into the mixture 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, I just went over it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I get so carried away. It drips out so quickly. Um, but obviously, like I said, it doesn't matter. You can add as much as you like. If you really, really want a strong scent of lavender, then add more. Um, but, and obviously, you don't need to add any at all. It's entirely down to preference, but like I said, I really, really like the smell of lavender, so. Oh my gosh, it smells nice already. <laughs> Next thing you want to do is measure out one cup of chamomile. I need a spoon. Again, this can be rough, it depends how strong you want your bags, but I found this mixture to be quite a nice. So that's one cup of chamomile, and I've still got some for my tea tomorrow morning, which is great. So one cup of chamomile and one cup of the lavender flower buds. I'll definitely be growing some more lavender next year but this harvest wasn't too bad so for, for two little bushes well there's still a little bit left so I might make up a little a little cushion or something to put in my chest of drawers so one cup of lavender as well and then you just want to mix it all together so all the ingredients combine. Just be careful that you don't <laughs> overflow on the bowl. They should have bought a bigger bowl, really. You just want to make sure all the herbs get distributed in the salt nicely because when you bag them up, you want a nice portion of of salts and herbs in each bag. Ah, oh, the smell is just heavenly. So once that's all mixed together, <clears throat> you can start to bag it up. Just make sure you hold the bag over the bowl so you don't lose any of the mixture. And just fill them to about halfway just so you've got a nice bit of space at the top so you can tie your piece of twine or your piece of string or your piece of ribbon now you can actually use longer twine than this because you can either place the whole bag into the bath and let it float around or if you use a longer piece of twine then you can actually hang the bag from the tap so the water runs directly through it and um, but either way it's going to make the most wonderful bath um, and that's it that's so simple to make and it smells so so nice um, one thing I would say is 
to recommend having the bath um, about 30 minutes before you go to bed um, because you've got a few herbs in there that help to uh, treat insomnia um, you may be feeling a little bit tired I mean it's not going to be drastic but um, I would recommend having your bath 30 minutes before bedtime just because it will get you in the mood to go to sleep and it will help with your sleep as well um, so yeah that's it the last thing to do would be to label them up um, and you can just write a little label out for your recipients now here's some that I made earlier so I've just popped lavender and chamomile bath tea bags and then on the other side I've just given a little bit of instruction simply place in a nice hot bath and relax um, PS you can reuse me so what I might also do um, when I give these out is give them a little slip of paper with how to make it um, and I'll probably package them nice as well maybe put them in a little box and give three to each person um, another thing I would suggest is if you're making these in advance to make them up and pop them in an airtight jar just so you can keep all the scent and all the goodness um, in there because obviously if you're popping them in some packaging and then leaving them under the tree for like a couple of weeks um, they may lose some of their scent so put them in an airtight jar um, and then you can package them up nearer to the date or in fact you could leave them in the jar um, and give the jar away as well <laughs> it's entirely up to you but yes I think my family is going to like these um, and I might actually keep a couple for myself because like I said this mixture will make roughly about nine bags this size but yeah that's it and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you find some time uh, to make some birth bath um, tea bags because they are completely relaxing um, and in my opinion you truly cannot beat a homemade gift so thank you for watching and I will see you all next time